So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a regular chord to show you exactly how um, I would create the, the loop that the chords are going to need to create their, the, the, the loop that the chords are going to go through all the way down the shave. So I'm going to start off by just um, making a, a knot at the top of the chord. So just by taking this, of course I'm an expert at knot making, so this normally takes me like five minutes. So it'll look like this. No, it won't. I'm going to take the top of the cord like this and just make a knot out of that. Loop under like that, pull it through here, and I've got a knot. That's probably about the right size, but you can maybe have just a little smaller too. It's about a half inch loop. So once you've got your knot like this, you're going to make a lasso on this end. So that's kind of like, um, I'm sure you remember Cowboys and Indians, Paul. So just loop this around here. Difficult to show this easily, but loop that cord through there to make a lasso like that, and you don't have to have that caught up in there. So now, when I put the um, make that nice and tight, and you don't need all this extra cord either. Cut that off. So now I've got my little loop on the end. It's going to be for the the other lift cord going to the bottom of the shade, and I've got my lasso. So. As I loop that around the, uh, the, the moving rail, that aluminum uh, uh, C-rib, we call it, as it, it'll get tighter and tighter and leave me with, with this much cord for, um, for, to, to pull out of the, the hole in the fabric so that the lift cord can go straight, straight through there. And hopefully that shows you how this can be done. I don't know if you can tell, but I adjusted this lasso a little bit so that the the knot for this loop was much closer to the end. So that when I start tightening this, put my my uh, C rib in there, and as I start tightening this, the knot is a lot closer to the top of the rail. So that when it comes out of the fabric, you're going to have just a little bit of not the knot showing, but just this loop showing. And the way, I mean, I've always found this a little bit uh, uh, tricky, but the way that we normally get, uh, get a hold of this loop um, is that we're, we're making this loop around the, um, the aluminum rail outside of the, the hem pocket. Um, so when we start sliding it in, of course, it's really difficult to register this with where the hole is in that top hem. So normally what we do is that we use a crochet needle, and I think I have one here. So we're going to make that noose bigger in order to be able to pull it through the hole in the hem. So we put a crochet needle with a little extension on the, on the end, put it through that hole, as you can see, grab a hold of the loop, pull the loop through like that, and then push the uh, the ribbon from the other end until it comes all the way through and then put the loop around the end of that and then pull the knot like that.